What does crying have to do with tablets, mobile phones and computers? Oh, I know this one. It's because every time I see one of your videos pop up on my phone, I start crying into my phone because of how stupid everything you say is. And the fact that I am going to have to cover it because, yeah, that makes sense. Unless, of course, you mean scrying as in that mystical hoo-ha when, well, that's less sense. In fact, it's so much less sense, you could even call it non-sense. Hashtag new word invented by Sir Sick Do Not Steal. Coming up. Well, of course you're coming up. What other direction is there to do that in? Anywhere else and you're going to get it on the floor, the walls, the carpet, the curtains. And I just realized that's not what he's talking about. Look, just maybe don't point a dark light at the castle. It's like a Jackson Pollock up in there. Scrying, also known by various names such as seeing or peeping, Peeping! Oh my god, that's an adorable term for something you would have to do to summon the Dark Arts or Dark Lord or whatever other low saturation level activity you are currently participating in. Although it does bring to mind the term Peeping Tom, which, I mean, it's such a soft name for being a creepy bastard who stares at people through their windows. I think it should be called something like, well, that is the practice of looking into a suitable medium in the hope of detecting significant messages or visions. AKA, it's f***ing stupid bullshit woo. And if anyone you know believes they can do that, well, get them to tell you where my whiskey stash is. I dare you, I double dare you, motherfucker. That's what I thought. And not just because any who man should know better than to mess with my shit. Only partly because of that. The objective might be personal guidance, prophecy, revelation, or inspiration. The one thing that it won't be is finding out something actually factually accurate that the person doing the scrying didn't already know. Because isn't it super weird how they don't use scrying in, say, scientific laboratories, huh? You know, if it's such a real and effective tool, one would think that they would use it all the time. But strangely enough, it wasn't till humanity, for the most part, stopped using stupid bollocks like that, that they actually started figuring things out. Weird. But down the ages, scrying in various forms also has been a prominent means of divination or fortune telling. Ah, of course, fortune telling, that thing that I would be shocked if anyone but the person giving the fortune made any f***ing amount of capital from whatsoever. At least from the fortunes themselves, because again, they don't do a work cause nonsense TM. It remains popular in occult circles, discussed in many media, both modern and centuries old. Yeah, obviously the old one makes sense because they was back in the stupid ages, but it always blows my mind that modern adult humans could even remotely think that this shit does anything. And I know I have a channel because they believe garbage, but I still find it so shocking and frankly depressing that they do when they live in a world where it's so easy to find out how so much of that stuff is clearly bunk and they have actual things that can actually do the thing that they're wanting, pretty much the internet, right at their fingertips. We have managed to obtain a number of difficult to obtain black obsidian scrying mirrors. What the f***? Why are you reading off of a shopping website? And one from the ancient time called the late 90s. I believe. He actually read like a bunch more of it earlier, but it was just them describing, get it, describing what shapes and shit the mirrors they are selling are and just no, they aren't getting that kind of free marketing from me. Not without an exorbitant sponsorship fee and the right for me to call their product a worthless piece of shit that I hate and no one should ever buy. It's so bizarre that they always say no to my perfectly reasonable conditions. These are sometimes known as magic or magic mirrors. You can always tell when something is a real thing that reels and the real things it claims to reel are real when it has the word magic in the title. Like Sir Six Magic Whiskey Bottles. For only $1,000 you can get some of Sir Six Magical Whiskey that looks a lot like a discarded whiskey bottle that has been entirely licked clean and smells like it too. But it's actually just invisible infinite booze that tastes a lot like nothing. Buy now while stocks are effectively limitless. So here is how a magic obsidian mirror looks like. This is a black mirror as you can see. Ah, a shiny rock. How very useful. 
And you know the whole mirror thing about these kinds of objects has always really bothered me. Probably because I grew up with advanced technologies like actual fucking mirrors. So when some shiny rock is referred to as a mirror, it's always so underwhelming. I mean, imagine trying to do your makeup in one of those things. You'd look like a right twat. Yeah, that's a black mirror. So why am I showing you this? I'm going to tell you in a bit. Uh, why don't you tell us now? That way we can decide that it's just a really stupid reason and then we can make fun of you for it. Instead of just having to make fun of you for other reasons instead. It's just common sense, really. I'm going to another website called Witches of the Craft. Oh, for fuck's sake, Barnabas, we don't need 8 million definitions of what scrying is. Scrying is a fucking stupid load of bullshit where you use a shiny black rock to pretend that you're clever. See, one sentence was all it took. May or may not have given away my opinion on that particular thing there, but that's not really what the video is about. So let's skip to where it gets good before we all start leaking brain juice from our ear holes. So let's just open this up here. Honestly, it so frequently amazes me that you know how to use a human interface device at all, seeing as you have the intellect of Roadkill Squirrel. And I'm pretty sure they don't even make computers for them, but okay. Everyone has this kind of device, a smartphone, right? Everyone? No. Have you not heard of people getting into so-called dumb phones these days? So they can only call and talk to people but aren't like connected all the time. I can see the appeal, but then again, how am I supposed to view the requisite 800,000 memes a minute I need to sustain the state of zen-like mild amusement I need to make it through the day? Also, the no smartphone concept reminded me of this really smug comment someone made on some article a few years back that I saw, where they bragged about having stocks and shares and all this amazing stuff because they never bought a smartphone. And I'm like, pretty sure traders tend to have smartphones and they're probably out trading you since you'll be sat there on the toilet reading shampoo bottles like a fucking caveman and they are snatching up those amazing trades from right under your nose or I guess butthole in this case. A black scrying mirror. No, that's a phone Barney. You can tell by the way that it's a phone. And seriously, what else do you expect it to look like? Screen shiny or not are almost universally black with a few weird exceptions like transparent screens and those kind of awesome e-ink ones because they're trying to simulate paper usually. But the vast majority are black because, you know, it's the absence of light, at least theoretically, so it makes for a pretty good contrast colour if you have a big box of brightly lit pixels. And not, and I can't stress this enough, it's Amscry Boy. How about that you and me are using a black scrying mirror, actually. I mean, we aren't, but let's just say that they could function as a scrying mirror. You know, cause shiny. Um, who gives a f If you aren't actually using it for that, then it's not that. I mean, people have been known to use iPads as chopping boards. Doesn't make them actually chopping boards, does it? And I'm sure I could come up with tons of ways to misuse tons of things, but that doesn't make those them neither. And they are telling us this is a smartphone? They? What they? That's, that's what it is. That is literally what it is. I, I don't understand where you could possibly be going with this. It's like pointing at a car and saying, they call it a car. Okay, so what? That's the name of the thing that does the things a car does. This is not any kind of good point, God damn it! And we are using computers and TVs. <clears throat> and this is a technology, but actually this is not really a technology. Wait a minute. Just you wait a goddamn silly bollocking minute. He's not gonna say that, is he? No, no, no. Barnabas is one of the... Okay, probably is the silliest motherfucker on the face of the freaking planet. But even he could not be so ridiculous as to say what I think he's gonna say. But then again, he does think that the internet is literally just sky magic and that Ethernet cables connect to the fucking Aether and is a flat Earther, so... What we are doing when we look into this black screen mirror is actually magic divination and scrying Fuck. god damn it why do i always gotta be right about everything i ever think shit 
That is so top shelf absurd stupidity. But then again, I really shouldn't be surprised from the man who thinks that the earth is flat, the sun is fake, and every other goddamn conspiracy theory, along with thinking that women are literally the cause of all the world's problems on their own. I mean, that one's just so f***ing stupid. I worked very hard to make the world a terrible place, and they get all the credit. Bastards. What if all those pictures that we see there are actually just our imagination? Oh, I don't even know where to start. I mean, that f***ing presentation of the concept is just peak snake oil salesman. But, uh, you know, the smartphones and TVs and tablets and all the rest of that stuff that they got in them to do the computery things. Oftentimes, you can remove the guts from one of these things and put it to a different purpose and it will still work because of all the smart stuff that it do. And... They work, regardless of the kind of screen you connect them to, you mad bastard. Oh, to live in your magical world of nonsense technology that's actually just imagination. I think we would all just imagine you out of it and make it slightly less stupid for it. Putting it all there before in front of our, uh, in front of our eyes. So you asked what if but if that isn't the calling card of the woo peddler i don't know what is you don't have to be right about your nonsensical bullshit because you said what if i'm just asking questions then pretending that the answer to those questions is obvious and also a fact and the answer is of course that it would mean that i am part of a special club of special people who know the special things and i am very important therefore it's absolutely true because of how special i am what if when we connect to people? I'll stop you right there. You really shouldn't be connecting to people. Those things are awful. I suggest you do whatever it takes to never ever do any of that connecting stuff. I'm pretty sure that involves touching them. And you do not want to do that shit ever. On, let's say, Skype and have a video call. Then we are actually astral projecting. Oh my god, I really don't know how to respond to that. Well, okay, I do. It's my job. But I have to play up the exasperation for the camera. Dude, there are so many ways people communicate through the internet. Most of them involving text. What are they doing? Astral projecting their hate comments? Or does it seem ever so slightly more likely that people just got really good at making tiny transistors, which are effectively on-off switches, that can process data at a high rate and then use them in clever ways? It's basically magic or a bunch of on-off switches. And I'll give you a clue. We can prove that on-off switches exist. Magic, not so much. <sighs> That's the thing that I'm getting into. Hey, you don't get to sigh like that. That's my job for every time you open your goddamn mouth. And yeah, you are. I just, you know, wish you wouldn't because it's really, really dumb. And if you go back to my first picture, let's start with the TV. That was the first one. Uh, okay, I know I skipped some stuff, but that wasn't in there. I can only assume that this is him doing clipped content again and not realizing that when you just take even your own shit and put it out of context, it makes even less sense. So how much sense is less than zero sense exactly? Right, here we can see Dick Cheney. Dick Cheney? Okay, what a strange choice of photos, but whatever. Also, why does no one ever bring up that that guy's name is literally Penis Metal Rope? That's hilarious. I don't care what bit of the political map you live on. That is a funny ass name. I found this um, nice picture of him looking at the World Trade Tower coming down after 9-11. And he's just watching this. That is so bizarrely specific. Also, it dates the f*** out of that image. Seeing as, yeah, that's 22 years ago at this point. Damn. Also, also, Christ, remember when TVs weren't gigantic preposterous monsters and someone having a 32 inch was considered to be a crazy person with way too much space afforded to mere entertainment? And yeah, like now, 55 inch is like the default. And sometimes considered a bit small. I personally have a 77 inch. And I also have quite a large TV. Um, with his um, foot on the table. Like, how trendy, how stylish that is. Watching such... Um... 
I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, it's a bit of a strange move, but at the same time, if that's how he sits at the desk to watch things, that's how he sits. Personally, on that day, my idiot child brain couldn't comprehend what I was watching, so I was just slouched on a couch, wondering what the f*** was going on. Now, to be fair, he's an adult in that picture, but yeah, it's kinda who cares. And coming from you, I'm surprised you think the event even f***ing happened. Oh, right, I guess this would probably be proof it didn't, or that it was an inside job, or something equally f***ing stupid. Cool. But the thing is, if you switch this off, it is going to be a black screen. Yes, because it's a telly. That's the thing. Doesn't this whole scrying thing require, like, intention? That you have to actually be trying to do it? You would never have someone scrying by accident. That's not how it works. I mean, not that it works at all, but you know what I mean. He sat back with his feet up. Clearly, it's not going to do that. Let alone, how the f*** can we see anything through a camera? Because I don't even want to think of the mental gymnastics it could possibly take for you to believe that that functions. Do cameras see what people are thinking about? God, I hope not. Those are my own private sexy, sexy thoughts. Get your own. Which is, I believe, it may be a black scrying mirror. And what you can see here is just truly... Really creating the illusion that it is happening but it isn't like how the way you speak and it creates the illusion of a thinking person with the capacity for reason and rational thought when actually all that's happening is a series of furious foghorn noises that then fall out of your face as nonsensical gibberish that for some reason a non-zero number of people take f***ing seriously christ Wait, before you go, I have something super important to tell you. It's life or death. It will change everything forever. Nope. Wait, it's gone. Oh well, probably wasn't important. But while I have you, don't forget to comment, subscribe and notify. And if you want more of my smexy voice, check out Mrs. Six channel Spoon Star Stories, where I narrate and voice all the videos. And she does the work. And if you want to support the channel, check out the merch store for cool t-shirts, or check out Patreon, memberships and PayPal to support directly. Finally, Follow me on the medias of social to get completely pointless guff and to keep up on the latest releases. Oh, I just remembered what I was going to tell you. Whatever you do, don't touch the-